hear these things, you see these things, but when you actually experience this, it's one, a different story, you know. Lakewood police say five violent robberies occurred this past Monday alone. Three of the incidents occurred at the Lakewood Walmart on Bridgeport Way. One victim, a Lyft driver, says he realized something was wrong when three teens he picked up said they wanted to go to the store, but kept having him take unexpected turns. After a while, the teens told the driver to turn on 72nd Street, and soon after, one of them gave the signal to attack. And he just start choking me, and they're all three just punching me, punching me. I, I don't remember if I had my seatbelt on or not, but all I remember is I have to get out this car. I'm my, flat, my life is just flashing behind me. I'm thinking about my wife, my kids, grandkids, family, friends, everyone. I'm like, is this the way I'm going to leave this earth? Another victim recalled three people walking up to her, and in the course of a struggle, her keys were snatched out of her hand before her car was taken. I'm just happy that the kids weren't with me. Otherwise, it would have gotten so much worse. Today, Lakewood police announced that officers arrested three teenage suspects, accused of eight robberies and assaults, including the three attacks involving rideshare drivers. The youngest is 14 years old. But Chief Mike Zaro says while they believe the incidents to be connected, there appears to be no motive beyond the crime itself. It certainly does appear that they're stealing the cars for the um, simple purpose of stealing them and committing the robbery to do it. Uh, whether you want to call it the thrill of that or the um, just for the just for the sake of the violent act and then just driving the cars to another location and dumping them off. Now, although three arrests have been made, Lakewood police believe, believe that there could be five to ten more juveniles that are connected to this crime spree. So anyone with any information is encouraged to call Crime Stoppers as soon as possible. But for now, we're live in Lakewood. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.